Wow. That was awesome, man. Thanks. I've heard you. Know, you... This, this really feels like it reminds, it, it's like an acoustic piano. Yeah, you, how does it sound when you're sitting behind it? Do you, uh, do you notice something a little different about that piano? Uh, the sound is, the sound comes out at you as though there were strings there. But what I, what I like the most is that you can feel the vibrations in your hands. Um, I love the touch. It, the, uh, the, the, it feels like ivory under your fingers. And, but what I really like is the pedal. I mean, there's so many pedals that you play that, that really are just like on and off switches, but this. And they're pretty, they're brass. I mean, that's a big thing. It's a psychological thing. Well, right? yeah, yeah, but they're just very responsive. Yeah, they, they, they are, as you, as you say, they're continuous. So if you bring it down a little bit, the dampers just start touching the string. And, and there's a bunch of mechanical noises that you hear in a piano that we all kind of come to love. It makes a piano sound real. And those sounds are in here. You actually hear the dampers hitting the strings. And all those little details make this such a rich experience. I also noticed from the other side of the room that you hear the, the it's no doubt that this is where the sound's coming from. It's right. the whole instrument is making sound and that's really because the whole instrument's making sound. It has uh, a six channel system in there and it's just not six speakers pointing in different directions. They actually are handling different source materials. So the one speaker is the cabinet sounds that mm -hmm. come out. They tend to be the lower sounds in the, in the cabinet. Another set of speakers are the direct sounds coming off, the, as you said, the soundboard and the, and the strings. And then there's a, a third set of speakers that are the ambience. So all those components are summed inside the instrument, but when you sit here in particular, you're truly in the sweet spot and you feel like you're playing a piano, not, a, uh, not sitting in front of a pair of speakers, you know. Nice. I, yeah, nice. and you mentioned the resonance of it as well, and I'm going to steal your mic for a second mm -hmm. like I, I did before, and if you hold down a chord for everybody and then play against it. Yeah, what, he's holding a chord down silently right now and then playing, you can hear the piano singing. That is, that's something that really makes a big difference in your technique and how you play because you're always hearing the piano sing. And we hit a low note on this guy over here, but hit a low note over there and see what happens. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it doesn't have any of that repeating quality that a lot of digital instruments have. And uh, it's, I don't know if you notice, as it decays, the sound changes. And, and those characteristics of a changing sound, depending on how long it's sounding or how you're striking it, those are all as the, the, the benefits of something we call supernatural at Roland, which is a technology that allows a key, a, a note, to be seamless as you... There's no switching or jumping going on. And that, that is a very important aspect that makes it sound supernatural, I guess they'd, they'd want us to say, you know? Great, isn't it? Nice, very nice. Yeah. And then my favorite feature, I sometimes forget to show this, is this. This is sheer genius. You hide the buttons and it looks like a piano. And it's a funny thing actually because what would keep me from using this feature at home is my electric bill. <laughs> Because in New York, you know, if I let this thing run all, all year, right? All, but this thing automatically sets itself off. It's, a, it, it's already, oh, really? it's all digital technology. So already its use of energy is, is very low compared mm -hmm. to other instruments with the same wattage. But if you don't play it for 30 minutes or you set it, it'll just shut itself off. So parents around the world rejoice, you know. It, you can actually leave it like this. Or you can close it, of course, if you want to put hors d'oeuvres or something on it. But you, it really, the idea is... Forget that it's digital until it comes time to realize you haven't brought in a tuner. And when you turn it, when it shuts itself off and you come back to play, does it 
turn yourself back on or does it No, work? you have to turn it on. <laughs> Next generation, you have to open this thing and you have to go turn it on, okay. you know. And, uh, you know, it has, a, I don't want to talk too much about the practicing aspects of it because you probably haven't had to practice in many years, but oh, it is a, works. you still practice. <laughs> it's a superb, superb environment for practicing. Uh, uh, besides the twin feature of being able to, to work with another s student, it has a whole repertoire of classical music in, in there that you can play back individual hands, so you can play hands against it, you can mm -hmm. slow it down. If there's a piece that's not in there that you want to work on, you can just download it onto a USB key, put it in the USB port, play it, and slow it down, even if it's an audio recording. So you can take a, your favorite MP3 of a Rachmaninoff performance, slow it down. If, it's, if you're doing vocal music, you can change the key. You can actually transpose it. So it even has Hannon exercises in it and things if you just want to work on technique. Uh, another thing you'll notice when you play it often is, is beyond the feel of the keys, these keys are very realistic because like a real piano, it's not, often on pianos you'll have a key and when you depress the key, it hits a sensor and the sensor is an on-off switch and it basically sounds a sound. This guy, when you depress it, it hits a, another mechanism just like a hammer and you can feel that as you go down. When the hammer releases, there's a little push at the end that is called escapement. And that second me mechanism, which is a hammer, basically strikes the sensor. So it's a very natural feeling. And I like to joke with people, if you put this thing on a spaceship, it's not going to work, if you, nor would a real piano. And if you put it on its side, it's not going to work because it needs gravity. Gravity has been with us for all these years, and pianos rely on, real pianos rely on gravity, and this is a real piano. It needs gravity to play. And that's another reason why it feels so well. And you might have noticed that even as you get deep in the key, which serious players like you do, it still, it still feels like a real, you get to other pianos and as you get deeper in the key, it gets real tough to push that down. So again, this is a real action. It's, it, it has a fulcrum that's farther back, it's got moving mechanisms, it's striking, it's, instead of striking a string, mm -hmm. it's striking a sensor. And all that technical mumbo jumbo is what's making you happy. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's, it, it makes you want to play. And yeah. that's, that's the greatest testament you could possibly give. Well, let's prove it then. Let's have you play. I'm going to close this lid. Okay. Would you sing something for us? Or do you want uh, sing something. Yeah. And, uh, let's get a microphone going, Stan. And, uh, so everybody, we're very happy to have uh, Lou Watson here. You're in for a treat, because besides a great piano, you're going to hear a great, great voice. Do your thing, man. Isn't it romantic? Music in the night, a dream that can be heard. Isn't it romantic? Moving shadows right the only magic words I hear the breezes playing in the trees above while all the world is saying you were made for love isn't it romantic merely to be young on such a night as this isn't it romantic? Every note that sung is like love is kiss. Sweet symbols in the moonlight. Do you mean that I would fall in love perchance? Isn't it romance? Romance. Romance, romance. Nice. Lou, that was incredible, man. <laughs> I want to thank you very much for coming oh, on thanks. down. That nice. was really excellent. Yeah. So we want to thank everybody. Lou Watson again, thank you so much for coming on down. 
We want to thank Bobby Duncan for being here and representing Roland. Um, we really encourage you to come on down and check out the Foresta and see all the pianos that are here and give them a great feel. Um, and we just want to send you off with another great video by Yana Resnick playing the uh, V piano. Thanks and have a great time.